The gas deal is a major milestone for the two countries as it not only allows for the easy transport of gas from Libya to Italy and other European countries but also allows for the development of infrastructure to help improve the economy. This is especially important to Libya as the country is still recovering after years of civil war. The contract was signed in the presence of Meloni and a host of Abdel Majid Dibeba, who is the leader of the United Nations sponsored government of national unity, which is challenged by an opposing government in the East. The deal is expected to create thousands of jobs in both countries as well as spur economic growth in the region. Prime Minister Meloni has expressed our excitement for the deal and its potential implications, noting that it is important steps towards the economic and social recovery of our countries. Eni is one of the world's leading energy companies and this deal is sure to further their reach in the Mediterranean region. It is hoped that the deal will be beneficial for both countries for years to come. In the wake of last year's invasion of Ukraine, European governments have been left scrambling to find alternatives to Russian gas after deliveries to the region were slashed to less than half their pre-war levels. This has led to record high prices and costly state subsidies to protect consumers. In response to this crisis, European governments have been turning to renewable energy sources to replace Russian gas. The European Commission has recently approved new rules that will allow renewable energy to be used more easily in gas networks and the European Investment Bank has committed billions of euros to increase the use of renewable energy sources in the region. The European Union has also launched a new initiative that will help countries transition to renewable energy sources.